Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to convert our NURBS surface to a polygon and then use planar mapping to create our UVs and take a UV snapshot of that and send it out to Photoshop where we will begin texture mapping in the next lesson. So this skateboard was created with NURBS and what we need to do to bring this in and start texture mapping it is to go ahead and convert this over to polygons. So it's in three pieces. There's the top deck, the side, and the bottom. So I'm going to drag a marquee over all of those. You can also come into the outliner. I have a custom shelf here. If you want to add anything onto a custom shelf, you just pull down the menu and hold down Control and Shift, and you can drop different things out here on your desktop to use. Likewise, you can use either the polygon or surfaces. We're going to be kind of going back and forth. So I just opened up the outliner under Window Outliner. And under here, we have our skateboard. So here's our deck right here, the bottom, the top, and the sides. So I'm just going to grab all of those, and I'm going to come under Modify, Convert, NURBS to Polygons, and open up the option box for that. Let's go ahead and reset this. This is what it looks like in default mode. So I'm going to use control points to convert this. It's going to quad everything up very nicely. Let's go ahead and just hit Tessellate. And these are the new surfaces down here, the new polygons that were created. These are our old ones up here. So I'm going to select this, and under Visibility, I'm going to just turn that off. So we have those hidden. If we need to come back, we can always come back and grab those. And these are our new surfaces now. We select all three and hit three on the keyboard. They'll look very much the same, smoothed. Okay, now that we have these, let's start by renaming them. So this is our bottom, so... Okay, I'm going to start with the top. And if I open up my editor right now, this is what it would look like just converting over from the NURBS. So the NURBS kind of lay things out a little more neatly than if you had just constructed this using polygons. But you can see our surface here curves at the top and bottom. And this is very squared off right here. So what this is going to do if we just use this and scaled it down, which we could do, uh, this upper part right here is going to be stretched. So we really want to avoid that kind of stretching. We can get a little bit better sense of that by applying a checkerboard texture to this. So I'm selecting the top. I'm going to right mouse click, assign new material. I'm just going to give it a Lambert. Go ahead and close out the outliner. So under the Lambert 2, I'm going to come under color, open that up, and we're going to assign a checkerboard. You don't see it over here yet, but if you hit 6 on the keyboard, you should see that coming up now. So this is what I mean by the stretching right here. We can see that these are all getting compressed, where the board begins to taper off here and round out towards the end. So this is something that we're going to have to correct. So the way the UVs are laid out currently, this does not work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. And under Create UVs, I'm going to select Planar Mapping, Option Box. Let's go ahead and reset the settings on here. So we're looking at the top of the board here. So we're going to use the Y axis, and we're going to go ahead and project that. And already we can see things kind of clearing up just a little bit. First of all, everything is compressed down here into the 0 to 1 space, which is what we want. I'm going to go ahead and start kind of scaling this back getting it to fit in here a little bit better. But you can see that that stretching has minimized quite a bit. So over here, I've just clicked on the gray. I've clicked to turn off the image here. You can also tone it down a bit by selecting the bottom icon right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn mine off. It's a little easier to see. So I'm right mouse clicking, selecting UV, and then I'm holding down the control key, right mouse clicking again, and selecting to shell. So this is referred to as a shell. 
each piece that we have on here is a shell. So I'm just pushing it over here to the side to start laying everything out. And I'm going to scale this down just a little to bring it in slightly. All right, so that looks good. Let's come back here and go back to object mode. Let's select the bottom of the deck and repeat the process. So under planar mapping option box, we're still in the Y axis. We're going to project that. And there it is. So I'm just going to scale it in. And we're not seeing the checkerboard because this is a separate piece here. We can go ahead and apply that material. So that was Lambert 2. And now we can see how that's being affected. OK. Right mouse clicking, selecting the UVs. Clicking on a UV, which is any of the intersections here where you would find a vertex, the UVs are sitting in the same place. And then control right mouse click to shell. W on the keyboard, and I'm just going to slide this over here a little bit. Give it a little bit of space and scale it down as well. There we go. So if I were to come out here now, go back to object mode, select the top and the bottom, we would see them lined up side by side here. So now we have the edge that goes around the skateboard that we need to select. And there it is right there as a NURBS uh, conversion to a polygon. So we can probably use this one. There's not going to be much distortion on this. It's also quite small. So what we can do is right mouse click, select the UV. I'm just going to grab a couple UVs on here. Control right mouse click and select to shell. And we're going to need to scale this down quite a bit. So I'm grabbing that center, scaling it down. W on the keyboard, moving it over here. And then I'm going to hit F on the keyboard just to frame up on it. Let's open this up a little bit more. And we need to rotate it. So I'm just clicking on the rotation icon, pushing it over here. We still need to scale this down quite a bit. So we can make it fit like that. I think what we can do is probably cut it in half, make it about twice the length here. It's probably just a little too big. OK, and I think if we come to the back side of the board, we can select an edge here and then cut it. So I'm going to select an edge right here on the back of the board, double clicking on that. And you can see that's our halfway point right there. And I'm going to come up here and click on the scissor icon. That's going to cut that in half now. So if I come up here and select the UV, click on a UV, control right mouse click to shell, you can see that it's cut that in half. So I'm going to slide that over and down. OK, and we're going to just place that one right there. And it's not quite half. There's a little bit of extra on one side there. OK, and I'm going to select them both and scale them down uniformly. That way, when we add our stripe on there, our stripe will be the same size. OK, so we want everything fitting inside the 0 to 1 space. I'm just going to click and grab everything here. There we go. So these are our polygons laid out nice and clean inside our 0 to 1 space with the checkerboard on to check and see if we have any stretching. There we go. So everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and reapply the Lambert 1 shader on the top and the bottom. OK. So let's go ahead and select all of those again. And I'm going to come under Polygons. At the very bottom, there's UV Snapshot. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to 
create a file name here. This typically defaults, I think, at uh, 512, perhaps. So make sure that you bring the size up to 1024. Keep the aspect ratio, so it's 1024 by 1024, X and Y. And we're going to browse. This is going to take us into our images folder. Uh, I'm actually going to come back out here and go to the source images folder. I've already got a few things in here already. And I called my original one UV Snap, so I'm just going to call this UV Snap 2. And go ahead and save that. And then hit OK. And it's going to send this out as a snapshot. OK, we can go ahead and close that down. And let's go ahead and save our scene. So save as. Okay, I'm just saving mine as Maya Binary. Okay, so this concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll bring in our UV snapshot into Photoshop and begin working on the textures.